Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Classes. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to do detailing of trapezoidal footing. So let's start with this tutorial. As you can see in this picture, this is a picture of a trapezoidal footing. Trapezoidal footing is one of a kind of isolated footing. It has a trapezoidal shape at the top and at the bottom it has a rectangular base. It will have a single mesh of reinforcement at the bottom and this column will rest at the center of this mesh. So let's see how to draw this trapezoidal footing in AutoCAD. Now here I have opened a new drawing sheet in my AutoCAD software and first thing we'll do is we'll set our limits and units. First we'll set units, give units command, say enter. Now here we'll keep it decimal, precision, we'll change it to 0, 0.00 and here we'll keep millimeters, say ok. Now we'll set limits, give limits command. Lower left corner will specify 0, 0, say enter. Upper right corner I will give 2000, 2000, say enter. Now we will do zoom all. Now here we have these details of the footing that we are going to draw. According to these details, footing size will be LX by LY that is 1600 mm by 1600 mm. Column size will be 300 mm by 300 mm. Footing height will be D that is 500 mm and base height will be smaller D that is 200 mm. Footing reinforcement will be 16 numbers of 10 mm dia bars both ways. So now let's start with the drawing. Now first we'll draw the column now first we'll draw the column, for that we'll take rectangle command, type REC for rectangle, say enter, click here, now click on dimension, dimension I'll give 300, enter 300, enter. Now we'll give offset, we'll give offset of 100, say enter, click on this, move it outside. See, enter. The size of footing box is 1600 by 1600. Now we will draw a center line here. For that we will take construction line. Shortcut command for construction line is Excel. We will type Excel enter. Now we will click on this center point. We will click on this midpoint. Say enter. Now click on this midpoint and say enter. Now we will give offset of 800 from this center line. We will give offset command O enter. Distance will give 800. Enter. Click on this line, the center line and move it here. Then again click on this line and move it here. Again click on this center line, move it this side, click on it and move it this side say enter. This UCS icon is showing in between so to keep it aside we will give UCS icon command. And we will say no origin. It will come at sight. Now we will give trim command. Say enter. We will trim this. Trim these extra lines. Now we'll delete this center lines. Now here it will be a slope. So I'll show these lines from this point to this point. Then again from this point to this point. From this to this. From this to this point. See, enter. Now this is the plan of our footing. Now we'll have to show the reinforcement details here. Now I'll give offset command. Distance I'll give 150. Enter. 
click on this line and move it inside click on this line and move it inside and say enter now here at the ends we'll have to leave the clear cover for reinforcement so i'll click on this line clear cover for footing will be 50 mm click on this point move it inside and give a distance of 50 say so enter now click on this point drag it inside and give a distance of 50 enter now again click on this line click on this point drag it inside distance will give 50 enter click on this point drag it inside give distance 50 enter now here at the end L shape bent up is given to the reinforcement bars so we'll give L here give line command now click here give distance of 100 enter so enter then again give a line click here give distance of 100 enter so enter same way give here now this will be your x axis and this will be your y axis so this reinforcement parallel to this x axis will be denoted as lx and this reinforcement parallel to the y axis will be denoted as ly now here we'll do the detailing we'll give leader head here shortcut command for leader head is qle enter now click on this line drag it down click here enter we'll take multi text make a box here now this will be your lx that is 16 numbers of 10 mm dia for dia we'll give percentage percentage c parts now here it is too small so we'll click on this and we'll change the text height to 50 say enter now again we'll do detailing of these parts again take leader head q q l e enter click on this line move it outside say enter we'll copy this text here say enter now change this to l y say enter this will be your l y now we'll draw the cross section of this rcc footing to show the details of reinforcement so we'll mark a section line here here i am already having this hi hidden line that is dotted line if you don't have this dotted line you go to others click on the load now you'll get this dotted lines here click on this any of this dotted line whichever you want and say ok then click on this line and say ok now here I'll choose this hidden line we'll take line command now I'll draw the section line here now we'll name this section line here we'll change the line type as continuous we'll take this circle we'll take two point circle click on this point and outside say enter we'll take multi text We'll give name as A, change this size to 50, move it at the center. Now we'll copy this name at the other point, say enter. Now we'll draw the cross section of this footing. We'll draw a line here. Say so enter. Now we'll mark these points on this line. So for that we'll take construction line. Give command Excel. Enter. Now here I'll choose vertical. Now I'll mark these points. See, 
enter now according to this detail footing height will be 500 and base height will be 200 first we'll trim this extra lines here give trim command trim this lines say enter now delete this lines now here we'll give offset command we'll give distance 200 of base height give offset of this line again we'll give offset of this line at 500 enter now we'll draw a line here to show the slope we'll take line command put the ortho mode off now join these points again draw a line from here to here say enter now delete the extra lines now delete this remaining lines now we'll draw break line here trim this extra lines now here we'll show the reinforcement details we'll give offset of 50 distance we'll give offset of this line say enter now trim these extra lines now here we'll have to give clear cover of 50 so we'll click on this line click on this point put the auto mode on drag it inside and give distance of 50 enter same at this side click on this point drag it inside give distance of 50 enter say enter now take line command click on this point give L of 100 enter again click on this point give distance 100 enter now we'll have to show this bars here for that we'll take circle command we'll take tangent tangent radius select this tangent select this tangent and give radius of 15 enter now we want 16 copies of this circle because as per the details here there are 16 numbers of 10 mm dia bar so for that we'll take copy command say enter select this object say enter select this as a base point now click on this array enter number of item as 16 enter now click on this fit and click at this L and say enter so you see here your 16 numbers of bars has been fitted within this distance now you take H command take solid and click it within this bars say enter now we'll show the column reinforcement here resting on this reinforcement mesh we'll give offset we'll give distance 50 enter we'll give offset of this and this say enter now we'll extend this lines take extend command say enter take this line and extend this line to the baseline say enter now here you will have to show the L will take line command will take this quadrant point as reference point and draw line from here at 300 say so enter and 
will bend it like this so enter now mirror this line take mirror command so enter select this two lines enter take midpoint of this click here so enter Now trim this extra lines here. Now we'll fillet these corners. We'll take fillet command. Take a radius of 15 mm. Say enter. Fillet these corners. Fillet this corner. We'll draw stirrups here. Take line command. Draw stirrup here. Enter. We'll take it at 150 center to center distance. So we'll give offset distance. We'll give 150. Enter, and we'll give offset to these lines. See. Enter. Now here we'll show the dimensions. We'll take linear dimension. This height is 500 mm. Again, this height is 200 mm. This distance is 300. This distance is 100. Now we'll give detailing to these bars. We'll take leader head here. Q L E. Enter. Click on this point. Click here. So enter. Again, we'll take another leader head. Click on this line. Click here. Now we'll take multi text. And give this detailing. It is sixteen numbers of ten mm dia. Dia will take percentage percentage C bars at both ways. We'll increase the height to fifty. Enter. Now your footing size will mention. Footing size is one thousand six hundred mm. By one thousand six hundred. See enter. We'll increase this size to fifty. We'll underline this. And make it bold. Take it to the center. So this is your trapezoidal footing details. Hope you all have understood how to do detailing of this trapezoidal footing. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel to learn more about the AutoCAD. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.